So a lot of people have been asking me how I get OBS to zoom in on my mouse and follow the cursor around as it moves around on screen. This is really useful if you do a lot of tutorials on YouTube, or maybe you're like a graphic designer and you just want your audience to get a clearer picture of what you're clicking on. I just use a script called OBS Zoom to Mouse. I'll leave a link to where you can get it in the comments or if you're on Twitter, just check the tweet down below. You wanna download the file that says OBS Zoom to Mouse dot Lua. Then in OBS, go into the tools menu, scripts, and add that Lua file to that that scripts menu. All you have to do is select the source that you want to zoom in on. In most cases, that's just gonna be your desktop. Then you need to set a hotkey to activate the zoom. So to do that, go into your OBS settings, into the hotkeys menu, and then search for toggle zoom to mouse in the first section near the top. Set it to whatever you can remember, and then just hit the hotkey, and it should start working. Now, by default, it zooms in pretty close. A lot of my viewers complain about getting motion sickness. So I would decrease the zoom factor just a little bit and also decrease the zoom speed to the lowest setting. I find that helps quite a bit as well. And uh, definitely turn on follow outside of bounds. This makes it so that when you move your cursor to a second monitor, it still tracks where your mouse is. So it doesn't like jump around too much. All the other settings you can pretty much just copy from mine. I think these look pretty smooth. One more thing I would highly recommend is to set a second hotkey to disable the mouse follow. So you don't always want the screen to be following your mouse. Otherwise your viewers are gonna like throw up all over the keyboards. So you can set a second hotkey to toggle mouse during zoom. So that way you can move your mouse to whatever portion of the screen that you want to focus on, press your second hotkey, and then it will lock the screen to that portion of the screen. So it doesn't move around so much. That's pretty much it. Now I will give you guys one more super advanced tip. So if you're using something like StreamerBot and you don't wanna burn a hotkey on your keyboard that you probably won't remember, or maybe you have set up a hotkey but it like interferes with your game, you can create a new action in StreamerBot, add a sub action called OBS raw and paste this text right here. This will activate the hotkey without actually pressing anything on your keyboard. You don't even need to set a hotkey inside of OBS. It just it just activates the zoom. And that way it's not gonna interfere with any of the programs you have running and you don't have to remember a hotkey. Here's the second action. This one will toggle that second mouse follow function, that second hotkey that we set up earlier. Pause the screen right here so you can copy all this down. And now you can come up to the triggers menu and add a trigger for anything you want. So you can activate the zoom using like a voice command. So you can just say like mouse zoom and then it like just zooms in automatically. No hotkeys, no, no nothing. Just say it into your microphone. Enhance. Or my favorite option is you could just use a stream deck. There's a StreamerBot plugin for the stream deck that allows you to run any action that you've made within StreamerBot. So you just drag over a StreamerBot action button, select any of the two actions that you made earlier, and bam, now you can toggle that zoom and follow script right from your stream deck. Just give it a label so you remember what it does, and there you go, no need to remember a hotkey, no key conflicts with any of the games that you're playing. Uh, and you're good to go. Anyway, have fun with that. If you guys like this video, share it with one of your cool streamer friends. Uh, also follow me on YouTube for more advanced streaming tips. And uh, yeah, uh, go, go call your mom, okay? She misses you and you haven't called her in a while. See you later.